What's up, it's Johnny Grooms, and today I'm going to keep it real simple. I'm going to be trimming my eyebrows with a straight edge razor. Let's just hope I don't cut my eyebrow off, or a section of it. Here we go. Of course, I'm going to be using the Easy Blade Shaving Gel, since that works so well. Shaving my face with it. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act, head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong, always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best, die with no regrets. Live with every breath, see my message start to spread. And I had so many dreams, then you hit your teens. I think really what it seems, try to find out what it means. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow. Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the start It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being changed I wanna talk about this scar right here I have a scar right here I wanna talk about that scar When I was a kid Street hockey was a thing Well, it still is a thing, but It was a, uh Like, inline skating was big And, you know, this This Stuff started really just, you know, getting a lot of popularity. So, um, I don't know how to rollerblade. And I don't know how to ice skate. Because that's just not something that, you know, was an option for me growing up. Not that I really wanted to do that anyway. Because I bet if I really wanted to do it, my parents would find a way to throw me into it. So, I played street hockey on foot, and I was going after the puck, and I got high-sticked right to the face. And it was, it was pretty bad, I was bloody. My older sister was in the house, she was supposed to be watching me. Um, So I'm sitting there on the, I'm sitting there on the ground bleeding, blood just pouring out of my head. Some strange, some lady came out of nowhere where we lived in Brooklyn. Brooklyn has its tight knit neighborhoods. My mom being born and raised in Brooklyn and uh, us living in her old neighborhood, naturally all the adults knew each other. She knew everybody, they all went to school together. So, um... You know, lady said, uh, lady saw me screaming and everything like that, blood pouring out of my head, and she came out of nowhere with, I don't know, with cotton balls and peroxide and bandages and everything like that, and she just like took care of me. She like cleaned me up and put the bandaid on my head and all that stuff. So it was a painful, it's a painful memory. I have the scar for life, but it's also a good memory. There's also. Um, something I feel that is missing in some of the suburbs like I live in Jersey now so like there's not it's not like that it's I don't really see the neighbors talking that much either not like how it was back in the day when I was growing up I mean you know all the neighborhood kids played outside uh, you know nobody was concerned there was people there you know and, and go to friends houses and hang out you know after doing homework and stuff like that so like it's a different kind of, um, it was a different kind of community. Although back then it also wasn't the safest place. We didn't have problems, but there were definitely times where we were walking home from school 
and somebody was getting their head smashed into the dumpster. I never forget the day. I don't, I don't know what the beef was, but this guy took this other guy and smacked him against this this uh, this dumpster. But he hit him against one of the one of the sharp ends, one of the corners. Not really so sharp, but it was one of the corners. And when he hit, his head hit. I'll never forget it. His whole his whole face, like the whole up here cracked and he was just the blood was immediately started to flow and he bounced off of that corner of the dumpster and then it fell to the ground. He was bleeding like crazy and we just got out of there. Like we <laughs> Me, my sister and my mom, um, we just we just ran. We were just like we were like, oh, the time to go, you know, <laughs> just, just got out of there. Let's see, am I all good? I think I'm all good. I'm all straight here. If you have experience with straight edge razor, just comment down below. If this is a thing, because I find myself doing this a lot and just holding it like this and hitting straight up like that. Holding it like this, is this a thing? Let me know in the comments. But that'll be it for shaping the eyebrows. If you like the concept of the video, like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.